that. Hey y'all, it's Joy again, and I'm here to give you a uh, review of the e.l.f. Clay eyeshadow palettes. I have three of the four, and um, I kind of they come in packages like this. And they're called, they're called the clay eyeshadow palettes because they have the kaolin clay in it. So I have the three of the four. The one I, the f three that I have are the Saturday Sunsets, the, um, what's this, Smoke to Perfection, and the Necessary Nudes. And um, the one I'm missing is Seaside Sweetie, and that one was the teal and taupe kind of a palette. That one I have to say I wish I would have gotten, but then I don't know. Now, let me explain. Um, these are, um, now this one's all messed up because I was messing with it. They come with these little inserts over them and each one of the palettes has five eyeshadows in it. Now there's a highlighter that would be this long one on the side. Then they gave you what they consider a base. So this is supposed to be an all over color, this next one right there. And this one is supposed to go in the crease and this one on the lid and this one is supposed to be used as liner. Now you can do whatever you want, but you know, obviously they try to give you a little bit of guidelines and such. Now how do I feel about these? Well, there are the elite of the e.l.f. There is the uh, prism eyeshadows, and you might remember the prism eyeshadows because they looked like this. Um, they are beautiful, sparkly, sparkly stuff, and they swatch divinely. I mean, they are just gorgeous. So there's those. Then there's those... Um, the next ones down, I would say, are these ones that look like this. And this is Mad for Matt. I have Mad for Matt Necessary Nudes. Um, and these ones also swatch incredibly divinely. I mean, look at that pigment. Absolutely wonderful. Now, these ones also apply well to the lid. They blend very well. Then there's the lowest form of e.l.f. as far as my opinion is concerned. And that is the ones that come in the huge palettes. You know, it's kind of hit or miss. Some of them are, are kind of um, fall apart and patchy and chalky. And then other ones are superbly pigmented. Um, and these ones fall somewhere in the middle. For example, my least favorite is the one I have on my eyes today. Now, did I make it work? Yeah, because... I'm going to make it work. I paid $6 a piece for these babies. I'm going to make it work. This one is my least favorite. And I'm going to insert some swatches here. Um, but this one's my least favorite because they are patchy. And this one is all glitter and patchy. And so they don't function as well. The other thing I don't like about this particular set, this is the Smoke to Perfection set, is that the colors don't stand alone. They blend into one, into one another and then don't keep their individual identity. And I did not like that about this one. Now, can I make it look okay? Well, yes, but I don't want to make something look okay. I wanted to get this and be absolutely in love with it like I was some of the other elf shadows. The next one that I like that is a good one is the, um, the Necessary Nudes. Now, I don't like that the bronze and the gold are, let me not blind you, the bronze and the gold are close in color. So they're just, I mean, when you get them on the lid, yeah, you can tell what they're different, but they're a little close. And I don't like to use sparkle in my crease. So what I tend to do is we use the brown more in the crease. And speaking of the brown, it could be a little deeper. It's, that's my fingers wet. So it's usually, let me see if I can get a better swatch. See, it's, this is wet and this is not wet, okay? I was saying when my camera so rudely shut off that I like this one because it's a one and done kind of palette. You don't need to go outside of this to be able to make a look. Now it was really hard to see two of the colors on my skin because they kind of blend in. Now are they pigmented? Indeed they are. Are they chalky? A little bit, but you know, this is a six dollar palette so you shouldn't expect Urban Decay at six dollars. Um, however, uh, I do like the way these blend. I do like the way that I can, you know, use this either wet or dry and it still shows up. Um, and that these are, these just end up being a nice neutral look. Do you need this in your life? 
Not if you have neutrals, no. If you have a neutral palette already, this is not necessary. If you want something small and sweet, I mean, this thing is not very big, then um, yes, you definitely could. Now, one criticism I have about all of these palettes is if you're looking in your makeup drawer, you're not able to tell any of these apart. They have a tiny sticker on the back that tells you their name. So that's my problem with these. I mean, come on. Really, Elf? You can't tell me what they are in the front? Or even on the back, you have this little tiny sticker? Teeny tiny, teeny tiny sticker. I can't read that. I'm getting old. Seriously. The one that surprised me is the Saturday Sunsets. Now, the reason this surprised me is each one of these colors stay their own individual or keep their own individual identity. And they blend well together, they play well together, but they maintain their own identity. I really like the look that this gave, even just following their instructions of lid, base, crease. It still gave a very nice, well put together, but very beautiful look. It'll really work well if you have green eyes or hazel eyes like me, because um, it has oranges and plums in it, which really make them pop, which is probably one of the reasons why I liked it. But at the same time, this one is just contains some really pretty colors that aren't just a common everyday palette colors. So if you're going to get one of the three I've shown you, I would say this is the one that you should go for. Um, quality is decent. It um, has decent color payoff. The only thing I can say that's a negative about it is these two colors um, do require a little bit of work in several layers, especially since this one is really close to um, on my arm. You can't really tell it's there, but in the nude palette there were two that you could barely tell were there in the first place, so what right have I to complain? But this one, to me, out of the three, is the one that you should go get. Now, I cannot speak for the fourth one, the teal one, at all, because I did not get that one. And um, I don't know. I thought that I would because I love the taupes and I love the teal. But after getting the spottiness of this, the spotty quality of these three, I don't think I will. I'm happy with the Saturday sunsets, and really, I don't know even if I'd want to pass this on to one of my girls because they're just going to say, why'd you give me this? <laughs> so, um, I don't know. It's probably just going to make its way to the back of the drawer, and I'll try to figure out how I can play that in with my other things. Uh, so, are they good? Well, sometimes the, the one that I love is good, but it's not a necessary item from e.l.f. by any means unless you like the colors in the Saturday Sunset, then I'd say go for it. For $6, it is a reasonable thing. Now, for $10, you could get a prism or a um, Mad for Matte or a Neutrals and the ones I showed you before. So if you're really going to spend your money, I would suggest going for one of those palettes instead. Well, I hope you um, liked this video. I hope that you found the information uh, meaningful to you. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you're not subscribed, I hope you do subscribe. And hello to all my new subscribers. I'm so happy uh, that you guys were interested enough to subscribe. And um, hopefully I'll get to know you all a little bit better if I haven't already. So you guys all take care. God bless you. Um, it's so nice to talk to you once again. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, y'all. It's Joy again. And I'm here with um, a video. Duh. That is the, uh, that is the smoke to perfection. I mean, I have to do this whole thing, and it's just easier to flip it open and see what I got. Uh, this, I'm sorry, door closing, you know, bright lights distract joy.